This is the Minipure Injection that you take every night. Um, I take mine at 9.30 every night. This is the package that it comes in. And this is what the inside looks like. You have liquid on one side and powder on the other. You always know the difference because the liquid has a gray top. The powder has a tannish color top. And depending on your doctor's orders, depends on how many powders you take um, per injection. I am on my last um, Minipure shot before I take my trigger shot. So I'm going to be taking two powders to one cc of liquid. First thing you want to do, take your needle out of its packaging like so. And like I told you earlier, this one has a pretty big needle. See? Yeah. But this is just for um, mixing. It's not for actual shots. So you want to take your liquid out and however many powders you're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing two, so yeah. So, what you want to do is you want to take your top off like this. And you want to stick the needle right into the middle push it down and you want to turn it to where it's whatever number you want it to be at so you can see how much liquid you have and I put mine right there at one one notch above one that's how much liquid I put in have this much liquid in I have one cc and then I have a little bit of air in here but I'm not going to worry about that until the end so you want to take your next one and you want to stick it right in the middle and you will see it start to dissolve like that and you want to slowly pour your liquid in and you want to rotate it from side to side like this to mix the ingredients together because you don't want to shake it because it clearly says it on the bottle that you don't want to shake it. You just want to gently move it around to mix the ingredients together because you don't want to have um, bubbles in this liquid because then you're going to have to sit for a while and wait and wait and wait until all the bubbles are gone before you can go to the next one if you have another one like I do so after it's done it'll look like that and then you want to take your needle stick it all the way at the bottom and you want to pull it up to where you have no liquid hold on you want to make sure you have no liquid left at the bottom like that and pull it out then you want to go to your next one now if you are someone that only does one thing of powder then you have nothing to worry about but if you are like me where your doctor is requiring you to have more than one thing of powder then you will go through the next process of having um, the injection go into the next thing of powder and mix it together. The more powders you have, the more it's going to burn. So let me go ahead and warn you now. Because my doctor did not tell me that it was going to burn. And when he had me up to three powders a day, let me tell you. My intestines were hollering at me. And so was my husband, because he thought it was funny. But that's besides the point. So you just want to 
Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Get it all mixed up together. And then you want to look at it to make sure there's no bubbles in it. Hopefully you guys can see this. There's no bubbles in there. So I'm going to push my needle all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to pull all of that liquid out. Then from here, as you can see, I have like little bubbles and stuff at the bottom. What you want to do is you want to tap on the syringe a little bit to get rid of all the bubbles that you have at the bottom. And then you want to push it up like this to get rid of all the air. Once you get rid of all the air, you'll see one drop come out like that. And then you know that it's time to change it and put on your smaller needle. So, to put on your smaller needle, you want to take the little one, open it up, put it on, twist it, and there you go. You have your smaller needle and it's actually ready to go. So here we go with the injection. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a piece of ice that's sitting on my belly. Um, I got this idea from the nurse that works at the institute where I go for my monitoring and things like that. She told me to put a piece of ice on my belly to numb the area so it's a little bit easier for me when it comes to needles because I'm one of those people that have a phobia of needles. I do not like them whatsoever. Anything dealing with needles, I want nothing to do with. So, yeah. So, you're going to watch my husband as he gives me my shot because I'm too chicken shit to give myself uh, my own injection. So, yeah. Right. You want to hold your fat out <laughs> so that it's easier for the medication. Or at least that's what the doctor the doctor told me to do was hold my fat out so it's easier. Here we go. One, two, Once I'm done with my injection, um, I put it in my canister that they gave me, that the pharmacy gave me. Um, and what you do is, it looks like this. But what you do is you take your needle, you stick it in this side. And I have two needles. So I stick the other needle in here as well. And then you take your syringe and you stick it in the top part and you push it down and that's it. And then you put the lid on and there you go.